Someone more, it was time I became fearless. everyone it's saturday night yes it is and i'm frank castle your sorcerer supreme <laughs> and i'm here with my etherical translator paula milo <laughs> hey everyone hi 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 we just had an exciting moment right before we went on air <laughs> the explosive caffeine fit hit yeah <laughs> with the introduction every time i hear the show intro I feel like a like a wrestler coming mm-hmm. up, coming down to the ring, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, the ultimate warrior sometimes. Uh, big shout outs before we start the show to Chris and Cherie Geo. Without you guys, we wouldn't be doing this like this right here, right now, in the now, with all of you that we love very much. So shout outs to them. Shout out to the cats that just take it upon themselves to go fight right as we go live on air, but don't talk all day to each other. It's your cat. <laughs> of course, it's mine. It's not my cat. It's your cat. Um, if you guys, uh, there's been a, a real outreach to me in the last week or so. I, wa- I just want to say thank you for everybody. Uh, a lot of people have been signing up, listening live naturally, and then signing up. Yes, on, getting subs- subscriptions. Yes, thank you very much for that. So happy. <clears throat> yeah, um, I'm very happy the, about that. The, it's great because there's 20 plus uh, different shows. There's something for everyone. <clears throat> and that little bit of gratitude goes a long way. Yes, it does. It it fuels the fire of the other hosts. Or I could speak for myself and say that I am amped up. We've actually caught up in the show to where we are to the most part. Yeah, for the most part. We're right. Caught up. There's 30. I was I was amazed at this. We're in episode 39 tonight. So there's 39 hours of us. <laughs> talking about the experience we put about eight of them seven or eight up on youtube so for those that are on youtube that want the rest of the story you're gonna have to sign up oh yes and thank you for those signups as well because we need a hundred subscribers to name the channel yeah to name the channel and you know what we're gonna name it <laughs> i <laughs> fearless I feel ding, ding, ding. and i think we're at 87 you said mm-hmm. 87 subscribers so thank you for for everyone that signed up i was i was just saying before the show the related channels like if you like this you know you'll like these guys and they had us with um comic historian they had uh alex jones which was weird <laughs> it's like i go on one rant and all of a sudden they hold me to it no it's awesome and uh and the powerful joe rogan so i, I felt i felt honored by that you should we listen to him all the time so when you when you sign up and you get a subscription you get to listen to all those awesome episodes yes all the in-between stuff the goody two shoes by the way we're gonna be doing little video podcasts up on the the youtube site i cut myself off almost every saturday (laughs) right like i I push to the end of the show and then blah i'm gonna have to start 
expanding on this. Yeah. Because most people, a lot of people have been reaching out, hey, man, you need to do two hours. The reason why I don't do that, I, I'd rather not drone on and have a good show, you know, and just leave you the chunky info. Because if I'm having a bad night, I'm committed for two hours. Um, and I mean, that that's just me being a little short with myself. I'm sure I could do it with no problem, but it's just easier this way. I could put out more material all over the place and um, and reach out to those. Oh, do you want to tell them what we're doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, we're taking a, um, a road trip. <laughs> road trip. <laughs> road trip out to... Uh, Brooklyn. Out to Brooklyn, New York. And we're going to be doing a podcast of... Uh, our friend, our buddy Josh who's, from the Earworms. Who's been on the show a number of times. And it's called The Free Magic Handout. And it's on iTunes. You guys, check it out. I put the link up in the Fearless uh, Facebook room. You guys can check out past episodes. Christy's been on their show. I think she was on the last episode. She's a, a good friend of the show as well. And uh, we've had her on a couple of times. Yes, we have. All right, I'm a little <laughs> slow with the start tonight. Check me out on Twitter. H E I S T C L I C K. Man, I'm feeling great. Last night was the eclipse. Yes. Followed by a full moon. Yes. And a comet that came through in the morning at some time. But I get a little I don't know about you guys, and I know people get this gets into the conspiratorial arena when I say chemtrails. But we had a perfectly clear sky in New York City. It was a beautiful day right before the, <clears throat> the storm or right after the storm. Right after the storm. And yeah. one, two o'clock in the afternoon. Now, when I say planes are coming all day long, there's not a chemtrail there. Right. And then one will go and it'll just streak across the sky. One will go behind it. No chemtrail or no contrail, whatever you want to call them. Oh, I know is that when it came time to look last night, that moon disappeared. Now, it literally disappeared. Yeah, we couldn't find but it. But it, it was so cloudy again. Every, my point is this. Every time we get a good day, somehow miraculously, these grids show up in the sky. I'm not going to say what they are, because I really could just say, look, that's what it is right there. But what I was shown is that they're blocking us from visually seeing Anything that goes on, they don't want us to be part in any of the rituals, none at all, right? And they already know that the, the putting out the horoscope is like a lot. Let them have their horoscope and, you know, go about their business. Right. They're not going to want you to look up and really see what's happening up there. Now the cameras are really good as well. Um, there was a new Nikon camera that you could literally just hook it on a tripod and focus in on the moon. Like, I mean, get really up on it. And really? Like, oh, so impressed. <clears throat> and I'm like, well, everyone can pretty much afford something like that. And then who knows what you'll catch. So there's multitude of different things that are going on. There's weather control with it. They're uh, blocking the sun, the incoming information, the energy, because sun is energy. It's life. It's light. It's information. It's binary code. It's ones and zeros. That's there to level you up, and they just block it out. If you put what is a chaff, like it just—it's like reflecting the light back up into the sky, right. causing the greenhouse effect. And naturally, right. they'll tell you like um, a cow farts somewhere, so you take up too much CO two over here, and now you're going to have to pay taxes on it. Meanwhile, it's them screwing with the atmosphere. <clears throat> they showed me the—it uh, the, was weird. <laughs> the the multiple times they've used nuclear and atomic weapons on the planet, and that was quite a, a sight to see. But they blew holes in certain areas of the ozone layers. So that was another reasoning for the chemtrails. Would not So they, they could hold off on kind of getting busted for what they were doing. You can't set off too many of those things, guys. That's yeah, pretty messed up, too. Once you start getting into nuclear weapons, it starts uh, getting ugly. So a couple of things that, uh, that had gone on, because it was a full moon in Leo. And what was the other? The Aquari Aquarius. Yeah, I think so. I get confused. Yeah, I get so <laughs> confused. I can't talk right now. <laughs> okay. Stop. So, so this is what's going on. <clears throat> the portal opens mm -hmm. when the moon's fully eclipsed. And then 
It closes the portal, I think, the 28th of February. There's a solar eclipse. So that should be pretty interesting. Let's take bets on who blocks out the sun on that day. Will the chemtrails rain in again and not let you see what's occurring? But what I want to know is, because this is what I felt. I felt hypercharged. Usually the full moon does nasty things to me. Yeah, it's very draining. The pushing and the pulling. Mm -hmm. uh, It's so draining. Three days up to it's frustrating. Three days after it is like depression almost. Yeah. It's like you got to struggle with stuff. I find that about a third of the year you get a good full moon and the rest is horrible. Well, the, yeah, you were but, very energized and very uh, but this one. Oh my, positive. Now I'm going to ask, and I, naturally, you're only sitting here with me that can answer answer the question. But what <clears throat> what changes are you guys seeing? What do you, what are you feeling out there? What is different today that yesterday you're like, nope, that di- that couldn't have been. Like, I totally, nope, the answer was no yesterday, and today it's, well, okay. Because I see a lot of people changing over, and I, this has only been a week. Yeah, one week. But yeah. remember, the, the cycle is speeding up exponentially. The, the learning curve that we're going on is insane. And I, I would say, <clears throat> do they tell me, oh, well, it's lifetime after lifetime. You got to catch up. You got to catch up. So uh, there is something going on. I know the energies are coming in. I know there's transformation that's going to occur. What kind of transformation? I do not know. But one of the questions that I got repeatedly this week was, I, I can't get a grip. I can't. It, the energies, mm-hmm. you know? I feel like I'm being shoved against the wall. So I feel like there's a weight on my back. I feel like I'm being held down. I feel like I can't get traction. I, um, I can't get the train to slow up. So I could actually do anything. Right. It's just speeding. The movie screen is showing me eight movies at once. You know, what am I supposed to do? And I realized what was happening. People are not grounded. And this is why every week I come out and for the last couple of weeks, I said, oh, I'm going to talk about some grounding. And it's the same thing over and over. And I'm going to repeat it over and over because people miss it. They don't understand. And it's quick and it's easy. It's an efficient way to, uh, you know, I got your back. I'll hold you down. That's yeah, what grounding is, does. This is important. You. Yeah, you need to ground All yourself. Right. If you're not grounded and the energy comes in and hits you, many things can happen. On the on the far end, you could have combustion and just you could explode from the incoming energies. Now, that, that's <laughs> a little – I'm just, I'm just playing around. But it will drive you <laughs> crazy. Your head catches on fire. You go super sane. <laughs> but – no, it can it, make you physically just, ill. The, physically the energy, Ill, the energy if, if you're not grounded, the energy coming in could make you physically ill. And y- you'll you'll feel almost like you have the flu. Let's go over yeah, that symptoms. Yeah. yeah. Flu like symptoms, <clears throat> headaches, flash fevers, dizziness, growing nausea. pains, yeah. weird stuff, man. Like uh people who are arthritic will get it really intensely and then it'll just go away. Mm-hmm. Like, and literally it won't be there anymore, but you'll know you'll have, you'll still have the issues. All right. Enough of that. How to ground yourself. Wrote this down because it's probably the best way is to just say it until you, it's, it's so easy to understand. Everyone's doing it. Remember the lightning rod has to be put into the earth for it to work. You have to root in. So to ground yourself, you take a deep breath and you drop an anchor from the center of your body down through the earth to the core of the earth. <clears throat> you uh, wrap your anchor around that tight. Usually when I do that, I pretend it's rooted in. Mm-hmm. Like I grow roots. Yep. I really sink my teeth into this. Through the bottom of your feet, through the ground, you grow the roots. Yes. And, <clears throat> okay, once you're... Grounded in there, you start breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. The incoming energies are just already there. They're already hitting you. They disperse into you, into the planet. You get upgraded. Planet gets upgraded. Nobody gets damaged. Distortion occurs when you're not grounded. This all takes place in your mind, and it's something you must do each time daily. Do it as much as you feel like you need to do it, okay? 
the, um, the distortions will stop. You'll be able to get the incoming messages better once you're grounded. Okay. So now while you're grounded, you breathe 30 times slowly in through the nose, out through the mouth, meditation style, nice and slow. Okay. Ask that negative energies, um, feelings of the weight of the world, issues, things you that it just, it's just too much. Ask them to be removed immediately. Okay. I've talked about Shiva doing this over and over and over again. You call to Shiva, Shiva shows up, you show him some respect, say, Om Na Shiva. He says to you, okay, what's up? And you say, I don't want this anymore. It's ruining my life or it's hurting me in some way. It's, it's, doesn't suit me anymore. Yeah, it doesn't suit my needs anymore. I'm not. Right? I I don't need this this memory, this thought, this thing. And this could be. You could do this any time. This yeah. isn't something that you can't. You do it in the <clears throat> shower, on the toilet, on sitting on the couch, going to the train, driving in your car, going to work. Two minutes before you go on stage and perform. I mean, just over and over. It'll become a routine, right? Until it happens quickly, quickly, and you don't have to go through this weird process over and over you, you're retraining your mind again okay <clears throat> after that occurs you say to yourself i have to protect myself and shield myself for the day now now that i'm cleaned out and clear right you picture a shield around yourself a bubble around your body three inches from self okay the color gold golden color force field around yourself that's the best way to explain it right then, on another layer, right after the gold, you use violet flame. Just picture violet flame being poured all over you. It's surrounding you. It's great. Then, depending on what you need to do for the day, it's either going to be grew, uh, grew, blue or green. And uh, you'll know by then which protection you'll need. You'll actually hear it. They always go to work when we're. At the, I I know <laughs> it's your cat. It's like he's we get pick, excited. He's picking up your energy, in and the then he has to go and he has to dig in the sandbox. <clears throat> All right, then you just go about your day, and when you feel a distortion, you reground. That's because your mind runs fast and it escapes you. You have to remember that you're doing this until it's just there. That's how you do it. Like that's the big. Ugh, like it's, how do I get it? Practice. It's like meditation. It's it's just a, a a practice that you need to incorporate in your day, and then there'll be a time when you can just think it. You know, I'm putting my protection on, or I'm grounding myself, and then it's done. Bam. Well, this done. is what you're doing too. You're breaking a conditioning, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. it takes years to get mm -hmm. you this way. Then you start double thinking it and going, oh, "Is this right? Is this right?" Or you don't even know. And then you catch yourself doing something, and then the shift occurs within you. It's one thing after another. Take them one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. What is it like? To, do you guys remember what it's like to be a student, like a good student, something that you like, but it's a little difficult to do, but you know that if you do it and excel at it, it'll help you for real in life. And when I went to school, they didn't teach me any of this stuff, right? And then the, everything they taught me, I don't use it all today. And all the stuff, all the, the beings and the entities that I'm meeting, all the villains in the Catholic like way of teaching, like I was saying, they don't really talk about Egypt except in the Old Testament. They were like the villains that held the Jews and then Moses comes upon the burning bush and then he meets God because that's the acacia plan. He's smoking DMT or he's drinking ayahuasca and he tells him, you have to go there and set my people free and go up against these pharaohs that have taken over. And that's all I knew, that these guys were bad and evil. And then it goes on. Like, it just goes on with their history, and then you don't really get any more history about the bird-headed men that are in the hieroglyphics on the Egyptian pyramids. Right. Like, they kind of pass over that, even though it's in all the coloring books and the drawings, and they just kind of glaze over it. Like, they did that with the Greek and Roman gods. They got into that a little bit. And then they kind of make a joke about it, but that's what people believed in. And then just, they just move on through it. And Jesus is the only way and blah, blah. So you have to break conditioning just to even understand the first part. Right. You know, draw your connection, burning bush, Moses, DMT, Frank. Okay. Well, that part is real. Right. And then, then you have to use discernment on everything else. Chris uh, and Cherie, they have uh, a name. Well, the, Yahweh is the name of the Old Testament God. 
we they call them the Yahweh virus. I agree with that statement a lot. But to call it what it is, and I know people are going to hate on me for this, but any god that demands blood is either a demon or it's artificial intelligence. Get over it. God does not interfere. There are actually characters with purpose that interfere. You know, that that come to do that stuff. Anything that demands your firstborn be murdered so that he feels he can trust you. Just to, just imagine how worthless you are to that being. But really, he needs you to do that or he doesn't get powerful. That's how the power works. It's magic. Right. You know, in Clash of the Titans, they said... Um, they were talking about the gods leaving because they don't get the prayers anymore. And, uh, I found that to be interesting. I'm like, oh, so the prayers give them power. And it's like, yeah, the people need to believe and like a new way of thinking now is occurring. And that was their 2012 back then. And they stopped believing in these guys because those gods stopped caring because they're not God. They're, these words, God, is a bad word. It's just a weird word, right? It denotes whatever's God is over you. Because it's your relationship with source that people forget. It's the relationship with source. So God is very different things for very different reasons to many different people. Just like we said last week, you want a miracle. Everybody wants to see somebody walk on water. But yep. when you got to pee and somebody offers you to use their bathroom. That's a miracle. That's a miracle. Or if you're, you're really thirsty, thirsty and you need water, that's a miracle. You know, everyone's waiting to be dazzled and, uh, you know. That's a have, dazzle. The heavens open up and, and, and that's not it. Life is full of very small moments that are strung together through time that, that, that mean something to you. (laughs) It's, it's very, very simple. You know, we can live a very happy, quiet, good life. Um, and there's enough for everyone. There's plenty for everyone, whatever you can hope and wish and dream for, there's enough to go around for everyone. So it's not, it's not the thought that if I win, someone has to lose or the opposite because there's enough for everyone. I used to get guys on stage with me and they'd go, oh, oh, look, it's, it's the heist. You guys suck. And I go, look, we all good. We all made it. And we're all here. Why are you fighting me at this level? Right. You want to be the best? Is that what you want? Right. Is that what you want? Now, you ain't got a friend here, but is that's what you want? Then your ego will drive you to that. But we can all eat. We're all getting paid. We're all getting salary to perform right now. And we should be shaking hands and honored that we made it to this level. And people would want to hear us. A little humbleness goes a long way. Yeah. Well, gratitude and appreciation. (laughs) Gratitude. Gratitude in the arena. (laughs) Sorry, I'm still watching Spartacus Spartacus. and I love it. Okay. So the Spartacus character, the Jesus character the character that took on the Roman army who they had to whether, yeah. whether, whether my version is real or not, yeah, it's, it's all, it's, the same, it's all it's, the same they, story. These it's guys all the same story. claim to be Spartacus cause they couldn't find them. And the Romans just start murdering everyone. And they're like, look, I'm Spartacus. Like where is Spartacus? They start going, look, you're, you're going to kill me anyway. I'm Spartacus. Right. Right. It's like, I am Christ. That's what I'm getting at. Spartacus right. is not even his real name. He never speaks his real name. Remember in the first episode, he goes, Spartacus is not my name. It's, and he goes, it doesn't matter what your name is. Right. So it's, it's the regular guy. And he goes through an ascension process, although through his is blood and sand right. <laughs> in the but, arena. And but glory. that's basically it, right? That's your, you are what you, what you want to be in this life. You, you make it so. Absolutely. You know, you want to have. And his whole thing, and I hate to just harp on him, is they were like, Spartacus doesn't even believe in the gods. He refuses to believe in them because they never did anything for him. So he went to take it upon himself to go take care of business, which I find completely interesting. Although what I'm seeing is that was the ultimate fall from grace. It's almost like we are the fallen angels 
we have fallen so far that we forgot we were connected to source. And now the ascension, we're on the way back, by the way, and we're being slingshotted back. We're right. we're not in the bad part anymore. We're in the we're in the battle that's going to decide what happens now. It's going to go either good or not good. And right now I see it going good. And anytime you um, – these – the people out that have the power could do something that cause a lot of negative problems, a lot of damage to people to create more hate. But you got to ground. No more hate. Yeah, you, you have to ground. And these people that we know and we meet and we talk to and, you know, the people that contact us on Facebook and ask questions and the chat room people who ask questions that we love so much. This is the waking up. This is waking up from all of that Real, Absolutely. realizing that you have the key you 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 have the life you want to live you know and if you don't you have to take a minute and think about what needs to be changed and the answers are always really simple we just don't think it could be that easy you know if you don't like something change it if you don't want to be something, then don't be that anymore. You know, tell a different story, write a different story. You know, if bad things happen to you, okay, bad things happen to a lot of people, we move on. You know, and I don't mean to sound so cavalier about it, like move on, but, you know, every day is truly a new day. When we get back, we're going to start a new conversation and pick up where we did last week. Your protection from deception. You are now tuned into the truth frequency. Your protection from deception. T L R. Truth Frequency Radio. Or is this a dream? A fantasy where I'd rather be. So come and talk with me. Come and walk with me. Is this a wake up call from my reality? Have you seen my friends? Have you seen my girl? Wake me up from this. I'm trapped in this world. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to become? What is this place? All questions. All valid stuff. Don't you think it's time to become more? Do you really think that what's just there is it? No. No, not at all. I I, I think there's so much there that we don't see. that Because we, we just don't have the time to look. Is that just the reason? Or is there a little bit more to it? I'm sure there's more to it. We're not supposed to remember, but... But we remember. Sometimes we remember. <laughs> I remember. Um, Being the student for this game, it's a, it's an ongoing thing. Sometimes you're the student. Sometimes you're the teacher. That's it. There is no ultimate mastery. No matter how much I neo shaman it up and say, well, I you know I've gone in over a hundred times. It does not matter. The guy that's never went in walks by me and says something that's so common sense. Yep. That I didn't get. And, and so I'm powerful. standing there going, yeah, but in this way and in this light, it's like, hey, get a grip, buddy. Get a grip. Who are you? What do you want to be? Who do you want to become? It's your belief system and your structure that makes you what your core becomes. So this is a place where you're supposed to bring it from the other side and attach it here. Anchor in and then... <laughs> <laughs> you can't just scratch me. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> You're supposed to bring the heaven on earth, right? That's what it is. It's you are that heaven. Somebody asked in the room or about God and dog being reversed. One of the things that I was shown that was really incredible was, I guess it was under a blue sun because the, the coloring had a blue tinge to it. I was brought to this planet and it had three pyramids and it had these 
wolf dog characters. They kind of look like Anubis, but they were real and they were walking around. They're they look like werewolves, but they're I guess intelligent, just like another any other being that would be have consciousness. Okay. They were running around and there were these shaved uh, there was these humans with shaved heads. Everyone was bald and they had black eyes and they served the priest class. That was these wolf dog characters. So I wouldn't be, that's all I really got a chance to see. I saw the connection. I said, Oh, is this what we see in the sky? Is this the connection with the, the pyramids? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Is that, is that what the connection is? And they said, well, there's a lot of that going around. There's those connections could be made to a lot of different places. But yes, it is one of the connections. So I don't know if at one point one of those guys, you know, inserted that into the language. Who knows? Um, but they are real. Those guys are real. The genetic tampering has been in everything. We were, t- we were discussing G.I. Joe the cartoon the other day, for those of you that go back a little bit. And at one point it was just G.I. Joe versus Cobra. Right, mm-hmm. the terrorist organization run by Cobra Commander. Right, that right, a lizard, yeah. the Rep- snake man, Rep- reptilians. So yeah. they fight terrorist yeah. organizations. Then all yep. of a sudden, after the first year and a half, Cobra does some DNA tampering and unleashes something from a pyramid in from the, in the inner car- Earth in the cartoon. In the cartoon, yeah. And the character's name is Serpentor. Because the story gets and he's out. a lizard man. And he's a human, yeah. half lizard, half human. And what is he comes out with some other guy, Nemesis Enforcer. The guy has wings like an angel, right? With the fangs like a vampire. He's got the little hooks on the end of his yeah. arm that he could like kind of stab into people with and drink their blood, do all kinds of weird things. I was, and I was talking to my brother about this and I said, they're, they're throwing snakes like javelin at people and stabbing them. It's the first time there's blood on G.I. Joe. And they come out and they just start destroying the bad guys, Cobra, and the good guy, G.I. Joe. And I said, now, this is back in the day. And my brother and I, we don't see eye to eye on everything with this stuff. And I go, do you understand it's in everything we watch? It is. He goes, name another one. And I go, Ninja Turtles. There's a big one. They mess with the gene pool. And then you got rhinoceros men running around and and, and Ninja Turtles and – Rats that talk, that run around with people, and that's the new thing, right? Then what happens? The next thing that occurs is portals and interdimensional entities. But there, there's nothing Every new about that. Time. Those those cartoons were out in the 50s. Well, those, these were – no, these were the um, 70s and 80s. Yeah, but, but the, yes, the Bugs Bunny car- portal cartoons, those were – And we talked about yeah. that before where they had the portable portal. Yep. He would throw it up on the wall and then the guy would disappear from his wife. <laughs> yeah, because all those stories are true. So, like, if you want to get a book published and you want to make it a, an autobiography, um, it, it's harder because you have to fact check. But if you put the book out under fiction, there's no fact checking. So these stories are out because there's no one to check those facts. This is just a story someone's telling. You know, and 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 these stories are so similar throughout the years. They're so similar. Lord of the all Rings across the world. Yeah, is another one where they have crossbreeding of genetics to yep. create different yep. hybrid characters, super soldiers. You know, on and on. It's it's all the same story over and over again. There's a reason for that. It's coming out. And that's why it's in literally everything. You know, it, I. I bug out now when I see some of the superhero characters. Like we talk about Doctor Strange. Now they have the Infinity Gems, the gauntlet that contains it. You know that that's the chakra system. Yeah. It's like the complete control yeah. of that chakra, even though they call it a universal gem. The universe is in you. So if I have the gem that controls that, it controls you. Yeah, but we do. We just don't know how to use it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, wow, this is amazing. I, I was... I wrote all these things down and I'm like, what are your motives? What do you feel inside? What motivates you? Um, who do you want to be? What do you want to become? What do you believe in? Do you feel it? Can you see it? Are you trying too hard? Are you not trying enough? Are you practicing and nothing's happening? Are you not practicing at all and stuff's flying through the wall? What's going on? I want to hear about that stuff. It's very important because my story is unique in its, in its speaking to the beings and all that, but, I'm starting to see you guys do it. 
that's what this is about is um, my story, but then it's our story. You know, I was making a joke the other day. We're going to have Paula start reading the disclaimer because it's our story now. <laughs> She's looking at me like, I don't want to read. I don't have words. I don't have words for this. But um, we're going we're gonna to talk about some things that uh, happened to us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We had, uh, what did you want to try doing? Oh, so I wanted to, and I, I'm just going to say it. I wanted to uh, microdose with the mushrooms, but I wanted to make a tea out of it because I only wanted to microdose. I wanted to see what was going to happen. I had some things I wanted to go in and fix. Uh, so I made a tea out of it. And uh, Frank and I had some tea. And it was unlike any other experience. It was, it was more like a meditation than anything else. And it was one... It was just a beautiful experience. Well, I noticed that you literally fell into super calm. Oh, yeah. Like, trip, like people go, oh, you're tripping. And this isn't enough to, to do no, that. No, this was like a, it was like a super focused meditation. <sighs> uh, super focused. Uh, I was barely breathing. I felt like I didn't need to. She didn't to, move yeah, for two hours. Yeah, I didn't need to try On to breathe. On her back, breathe. Relaxed. Yeah, nothing and hurt and, and not snoring or nothing. Literally, yeah. you were saying, I'm not sleeping. Yeah, I'm not. If I think Frank thought I was sleeping, but I wasn't sleeping. I was just in this super calm, chill, relaxed state. I nothing hurt me. My body didn't hurt at all. Um, I have a medical condition, so I suffer from a lot of physical pain. So in that two hour time period, I didn't have any. I, I don't even think I was in my body because I didn't have any pain at all. Um, I checked you twice because literally I've never seen you not move. And oh, you didn't yeah. Look like you were, like no, I was smiling the whole time. Like it didn't look like you were breathing. And I was going, wow. What I was seeing, though, um, when you were relaxed, I saw us because I was sitting across from you. It looked like we were power batteries, right? Like energy generators. Yeah. And we <laughs> were literally plugged into the earth, right? Yeah. Like I could see yeah. the grid. I can see that we're made of light and we were emanating it like it was just coming off of us, but it was hitting other people and it was like coming back to us. Mm -hmm. So we were like, oh, look, a response. So the floor was bright blue as if the energy was like when you're grounded, the energy will go. It's like plugging a, the plug into the wall. It works because it's go, everything's grounded, right? The energy flows from this spot to this spot. Yeah, you feel the energy you going through you. On. Yeah. You could do the same thing. And I'm going, do you see what we're doing? Oh, my God. Like, we're just emanating this energy. Now, you went out down for the camp. Yeah. Okay. Whatever it is you were working on must have been intense and fun because you had a smile. Oh, I was smiling the whole time. I felt very calm. I felt at peace. I felt extremely loved, uh, and I was going through the whole uh, uh, grat gratitude and uh, uh, just very thankful for, for everything in my life. One of the biggest things you should do, I mean <laughs> everyone out there that's listening to this, is be thankful and give, be grateful for whatever it is you do have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it, you know. It just helps a situation when you can't find anything in it like people that are negative oh yeah you start thinking by going well i'm thankful that paul is here to help me on the show and that's step one right then you start from there and then because people are like oh you're thankful and gratitude when you do that the universe rewards you big time to when you're grateful and, and thankful oh absolutely i mean i'm thankful that you know i mean I, I come home and frank that you know frank cleans the house and keeps everything tidy and keeps the animals happy and fed and you know, I mean, that's something for me to be very thankful for. You know, it, you you can't you can't want or expect very big things to happen to yourself, and then not believe that you deserve to have them. So you have to show appreciation and gratitude for the things that you already have, in order to receive more things. Um, and being appreciative and gracious of what's around you is the, the, I think one of the most overlooked areas in people's lives. Mm -hmm. 
you know, just saying thank you for thank you for doing the dishes or thank you for, you know, thank you for helping me clean the, you know, cleaning the car off my snow, uh, the snow off my car. You know, I mean, it's it's very small things in life that could be very difficult or are very difficult for other people. And if we can be thankful and appreciative for those things, more things come. They explained to me. You, yeah, you clear the path for more things to come. There was a chief, Chief Hollowbone. I know that sounds funny. And I made jokes too. And I almost got smacked for the, making the jokes. Yeah. Right? Said, I, I was like, why do they call you the Hollowbone? This is the answer. <clears throat> you have to remain hollow like a bone. And fill with love. Right. And empty that love. Empty, give it away to everyone yeah. and everything. Just give it until you can't give no more. And when you have no more, the universe gives you twice as much. Sure, you fill back up. More than before. And the more hollow you remain, the more you are allowed to... You, I, I get it now. Everything has to flow. Right. So you can't be stagnant even in yourself. It's energy. It has to move. You're made of energy. Everything's right. moving on you. You know, even things that are still, look, my hand's not moving. It's the whole thing's moving. Because people want to save it. You want to save it for yourself or you want to save it for this moment or that moment or, or you want to save it because you're being stingy and you don't want someone else to have it. And there's no, you can't save up your love and you can't save up your hugs and kisses and you can't save up, you know... Ha happy memories, sad memories, you know, you shouldn't save them up. They, they should be shared and given away, you know, because more this way you have room for more to come in. Absolutely. You're, you're not one of the things they showed me is you're not to hold stuff inside. It's good to hold a memory. Oh, that's a loving, peaceful memory or whatever. But when you hold something like, oh, that guy took that from me. Or, yeah. yeah you, and now you're 60 and you're like, oh, you no longer need it. I'll you, kill you that can, guy if I ever see him. And you're like, dude, give it up. That yeah, dude give it to the universe. You no longer need you're it. Never going to see him again. Well, that son of a and you got you to let that stuff go. You're going to you got to do trust. Use your discernment. Trust in what we're saying. Get rid of that stuff. You don't need it. One of the things I noticed, right? My paths was lighting up. My paths, my paths were lighting up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But weird paths, like what I do every day in, in the apartment. So I can see here to the to the kitchen and then the eight moves I make back and forth. <clears> and <throat> it was gold where I was doing it right. Right? Right. So I, I seen every possibility. I wake up the next morning. I could still see the path, right? but I could see them all, but one lights up. I, I'm still groggy. I kind of walk into the kitchen and, uh, one of the messages I had gotten right before I fell asleep was there's something that you're doing and using in your house every day that is killing you slowly. And that's it. And I went, I don't understand why I would, we're so meticulous and even we get slammed with whatever weird thing. Yeah. So I, I, I'm the worst in the morning. I'm like, uh, hello, what's happening to me? And I walk over to the kitchen sink. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to have some coffee today. I'm going to have some tea and I'm going to think about it. Right. Now the path that it, it was like a, a three inch line from my chest into the kitchen. And it just broke off into three areas to my left, to my right, right in front of me. So on my left was the teapot. I grab the teapot and I'm going, no, I'll just have tea. Now, I don't even know why I'm saying that, but I've been drinking a lot of tea, a lot of tea lately. I open the teapot, inside the teapot, metal shavings. The whole bottom of it was metal shavings, right? And I was like, oh, oh my God. Like, and who knows when, where, how it happened? Because I've washed that thing out before. Time to get rid of it, yep, get rid of it. And it was the first thing I encountered. And I said, oh, I followed my correct path. In the morning and you're, you feel groggy and out of it, but you're still connected. Yes. To, right. So yes. when I was still seeing it, I was going, wow, this is so weird. Like, I wonder what's happening. I don't know why they would have said, kill me. Why would I kill me? I, I love myself. Right. Right. I used to wake up in the morning and go, why, why, why am I even here? What good is this? And the day would instantly start crappy. And say, oh, it's you. Oh, but that's what this. I that's what I oh, meant by what this. I said before. Yeah, you decide, you know. Everything is look, we we've all we've all had it rough. I mean, some 
definitely more than others. But, um, you know, it, whether you had a, an easy, sweet, wonderful life or whether you had a rough life, you know, tomorrow is yours. Today is yours to take. Today is yours to do what you want with. You do nothing with it. That's up to you. You do something with it. You do that's, a little bit of something. That's and then, your free will, right? But there. that's your free will. You do what you choose. You want to wake up and be a, you know, to, to be, to, to, you know, to be mean or to be you in a bad. You came here mood. with a purpose. Yeah. Or you know, you want to wake up and be happy and grateful that you're alive because someone, you know, you're going to hear that someone didn't wake up that morning. I'll tell you what. When I wake up every day now, and I know it's hard for people, but I got the thought in my head now the other way. So I wake up and I'm like, hmm, I'm one day closer to telepathy. Yep. I'm one day yep. closer to making the cat float across the room. Yeah. You know, I'm one, one step closer to being able to get my coffee from sitting in the living room with my mind. Right. Right. Um, I'm that I'm one step closer to infinite love. I'm starting to see you guys as me and you uh, the same. Like I'm seeing it. I don't see you. I, I, I but recognize we, yeah, you. Yeah, but we are all the same. And we I, are and all I the respect same. you, but I see me. Yes. I see the same yes. being animating me, animating you. And I'm getting sick of seeing my brothers and sisters out there falling to the side with things. All right, so more things. What else are you seeing, Frank? I'll tell you, Paula. <laughs> um, so th this is a non-microdose. Just Frank walking out of the house. I go to check on my parents. Oh yeah, this is straight, straight up. Straight. straight this up. is this is today too. This was straight. I'm just checking on everyone. Watching Batman and Superman. My mother and my grandfather never saw it. He's like, whoa, look at Wonder Woman. Whoa, look at it. right. He, we're having all those moments. So the end of the movie, it's almost over, and I'm like, all right, I got to get out of here. So I get up and I leave, and uh, I kiss everybody goodbye out the door, and that the door has a tendency of sticking. Right. But I checked it. I closed it and it was locked. So I, I went down the stairs. And I started walking. And this being just he it was a he walked right up to me, moved direct. I was like, whoa, incoming. He goes, so you're just going to you're going to check the door, right? Are you going to you're just going to check that the door? You know, you left the door open. And I'm like, eh, the door's not open. I just right. I just had my hand on it, jiggling it. I'm like, it's not open. He's like, oh, so you're just going to go then, huh? And I'm like, yeah, you can mind your business. You know, it's checked. And I started feeling different. And then he says to me, so who you, your mother's in there, right? So you don't mind if like somebody walked into the house and just killed her and took her money and just walked out because you're in the Bronx. And, were, and I'm, I looked at him and I said, what are you talking about? I stopped what I was doing because I felt like, oh, I was all the way to my car now. I walk all the way back, grab the door. The door's wide open. I don't know what happened. Yep. Yeah. And I was like, oh, when you ask, you receive. So you ask to talk oh. to these beings. These beings are going to come up on you all the time now. Wait, wait. So I'm like, oh, man, like I just basically told this guy where to go. Yeah. So right? and, you... and then I go, all right. So I'm um, sorry. Thank <laughs> you. And then very loud in my left ear, it like almost like he was just screaming in my face. Right. Like yelled, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, oh, that was fr that was frighteningly loud. Like, yeah. don't ever do that again. Mm -hmm. But I felt like I'm almost in tears a little because I felt that stupid because it's just weird. Whether it's my higher self, whether it's my spider sense, whether it's an actual being. other being yeah. walked up to me and said this. I walked all the way back to my house and the door that was locked was open. It, it, this, these, this is a daily thing. It goes on and on and on. Synchronicities will line these things up all day. And if you yes. pay attention, you'll go through your day like this. Yeah. And uh, whether you, you you might not see or talk to a being like Frank. Yet. I mean, we 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 realize that I think everyone out there realizes is that, that part of the story. Frank is, is a my very journey, my journey alone. <laughs> Frank is rare <laughs> and that most people don't talk to beings. But, um, you know, it, it'll line up for you as well. All you have to do is meditate. All you have to do is think on it. And you'll see, you know, like I said, uh, last, uh, I think last show I was calling on all the angels waiting to help, you know, you can call upon the entities and the angels and ask them to help you and they will, they're, they're happy to help. I can't tell you the amount of things that I have asked for that I have witnessed with my own two eyes come to fruition. And, and that was just asking on the, on, I call them the unemployed angels, 
if they need jobs and I give them all jobs and uh, you know, I ask we for things. Plenty. Yeah. 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 It's not mm-hmm. easy maneuvering through this world. You can't do what we're doing. <clears throat> and if you don't do it correctly, like they expect you to be responsible and ready, or at least with the ability to try. Yes. If yes. you fail, you're not failing. You're figuring out what not to do next time. Next time. Right? That's right. all because you're doing. there is no failing. You don't want to start going, oh, I suck, and I, oh, no, I'm no, the no. worst. There's and, oh. no failing. You have to give up on those thoughts. You got to just say, all right, look, you here, know. Here is where I am right now. I got to just start over from again. From here I am. From where I am right now. And just not skip the step that I skipped the last time. And that's it. Um, you know, everybody's pretty good, man. Well, as we're talking about this, I'm flashing back. All right. Cause we, we were talking earlier about leveling up together and yes. that we've definitely connected hardcore. Oh, in a different, in a different way. And yeah, it like, sounds all silly and the fluffy, we had an but episode. You know, it, it really, it really, I discussed us, weird. um, having a DMT experience and just laying on the bed and we were holding hands and a sphere came in the room and it was shooting electricity at me, but I knew it wasn't electricity. It was actual information. And we were talking about you being able to see like me, right? Yeah. So this sphere came to, it was in between the two of us. It was like three, four feet off the bed. Mm -hmm. It was vibrating like, and it was a blue sphere. Now these blue spheres are alive. They're actual beings. They're ninth density from what I understand, which is they're higher density than the avians and, all those characters, they carry everyone inside them. They act like ships, but they're alive. Anyway, this thing came down and I said, hey, and I literally said this. I was like, show her. Don't tell me I can see you. She needs to see you. She Give her a glimpse of what you're doing because I'm sitting here with you, with her on the bed, and you can physically see me taking the energy, like getting hit with it and my body jolting. And then it said, oh, I'll tune her into you. And it started shooting the energy yes, between I remember the two that. of us. And I'm going, oh, I think it's tuning you in now. We're here. And th- because it did that doesn't mean you get up and things walk through walls and you see them. Yeah, but you, f- you, you read still- my mind the other day. <laughs> I was thinking something and I said, hey, Frank, how about this, this, and this? And he said, I knew you were exactly going to say that. And, and I, right. uh, we started laughing. Right before the show, I was writing something down. And I stopped writing because I wrote it, the word that you spoke. Yes. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I threw yeah, the yeah, paper yeah. down on the floor and I was like, all right, that's it for me. I'm done. All right, little at a time, it starts breaking through. Yeah, right. Like very small. Like pieces, when you pour yeah. Drano into the into the drain, it has to drip, drip. It just doesn't instantly work. You got to give it some time. It'll break through in a small spot. You'll get a couple of drips, and then you'll get a steady stream, yeah. and then it'll break and through. And then it'll just break through. Yeah, that's what we're working with, everyone. You have to understand. If you're not getting results now, it's because you're not. You got to do more. You're not more. ready yet. You're not yeah. ready. There's a lot going on. You have to believe the magic. How, how long has it been since you've believed? Yeah, uh, it's a lot for your physical brain to handle. But one of the things that's a blessing is the connection we make with each other, what we do for one another, yes. the amount of love that we are prepared to send forth on this planet. Remember, we're above all definitions that anyone could label us with. We love you. See you next time. FrequencyRadio.com. Your protection from deception. Stick around for Chris and Cherie next. Beyond the Veil. Yeah, boy.